here with a tarot love reading. What do you feel? What do they feel in a possible outcome? All right. So first, let's get started with what you feel. All right. So this represents you. All right. Six of Swords. You feel like you want to move directions. You kind of might need um, some clarity in regards to where the direction of your relationship is going. How do they feel? Four of Cups. Okay, they, they're reevaluating some things too, but they're more on an emotional level. You want clarity um, mentally. So it might mean that you already know where you stand with your feelings, but maybe you're just not sure what this person's intentions are. So you want to see a move in the right direction, whereas they're kind of might be reevaluating um, are they ready for a relationship? Um, can they give you what they want? Are they sure really that this is the relationship or the person to be with? So there might be some um, point in time where, or that can just mean that they're closed in because force have to do with the self. They could be going through something else emotionally right now that has nothing to do with you, but it's something that's blocking them from being able to give you what you want. Okay. And next we're going to pick what you want from this person. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, you want someone who's reliable and responsible. Maybe this person hasn't been following through with their promises. Maybe this person hasn't been as consistent as you would want them to be. So there's a need there for them to be um, a little bit more responsible. And now we're going to pull a Major Arcana card. Major Arcana has to do with major um, events that um, a little bit more serious in nature. So let's see what this says. Okay. The strength card, okay, there's still a need in your situation to control something, uh, meaning that it's not going to be super easy to work through the situation at this point in time. This card does not mean it's impossible, though. As you see, she's trying to tame this line. She has more control than she thinks, okay? So this card doesn't mean to give up, per se, but it does mean that there's going to be some work that needs to be done in order to um, have this relationship move along, okay? There is going to be um, maybe some ups and downs or simply a situation where, um, one person is going to need to take the lead in regards to making sure that this situation, this relationship happens, okay? All right, next. So let's pull from here, this thing here, of what are you feeling right now? Your relationship status, your relationship situation. Um, primarily, I do this video is for like if you're someone who's already in a, a relationship or a situation um, that you want to um, lead to a relationship. Okay, three of wands. Opportunity. Um, you're waiting for the right moment to happen with this person. You're waiting for this person to, I guess, maybe be a little bit more direct. Um, this could indicate that you're in a situation with someone and it's um, there's some mutual friends or there's some something going on where it's not just you and this person, okay? Um, there You might have met at work or maybe you're a social um, gathering or some type of situation because wands mean action. This is a, this is a high energy situation with this person, um, but you want an opportunity with them. So I think that it's not a relationship just yet. How do they feel? <clears throat> Eight of Cups, Sacrifice. Okay, so this person might have just left a relationship or just left a situation that was difficult for them or they had been talking to someone and they had to walk away from that situation. So they, they could be emotionally vulnerable right now. You know, this person might not be as emotionally available um, as you may be. Next, I'm going to pull what you want from them. Like, what do you want them to present themselves as? What type of person? do you need them to be so i'm going to pull a court card for that so a king a queen a page <clears throat> or a knight okay, okay. king of swords you need them to communicate better with you um, this person might not be the best communicator. Um, a lot of things are left up in the air. They might not be forthright with you. 
okay king has to do with intellect but at this point it does seem like there's a little bit of a blockage in the situation there's something there's like a little bit of a barrier and that's very normal in a relationship well in a relationship situation or you're dating someone and you're not sure what's going you know it's the beginning stage there's a lot of confusion sometimes so what you want him him or her it doesn't have to be a him um the king represents male but again this is a general reading and the king can simply represent a type of person like the king of swords so you want this person to communicate a little bit better with you Okay, and what is a general outcome? For this situation. All right, the chariot card, direction. Um, there might be some um, progress in this regards because there is direction. Somebody's gonna lead the charge. Somebody has a goal in mind and there's going to be some progress in regards to moving forward. Now the chariot reminds us that we're not there yet, but the chariot does know, um, excuse me, does remind us that there's a path and a direction that we are moving ahead um, in the right direction. Um, it could mean you're leading the charge in that if this person is emotionally unavailable and they're really not being forthright with you or it can mean that they begin to be better at communication, um, which makes you feel a little bit more comfortable with moving on with the relationship. Okay. Um, we'll try to do one last one. Okay. So I'm going to blend both decks together actually with this one. All right. So this first card is going to be you okay, and what you um, are feeling right now. All right, you are feeling <clears throat> four wands. Okay, this is a little bit more favorable. You're feeling positive right now. You're feeling positive. There is something that the two of you have moved forward in your relationship. Maybe you've made something more official lately. You don't feel that you're in the dark. You don't feel that this person is really playing games. Um, but there still might be some hesitancy in understanding like where they actually come from, which is probably why you're asking. But there's, there's some positive um, energy going around. So you feel very... Um, you feel like this is the one. You feel like this person has given you a lot of signals that they really like you or they want to pursue something with you. Next card is going to be how they feel. Eight of Wands. Okay, so the energy is matching up. The Eight of Wands um, is signals. This person feels like you're giving the signals back, like you are showing them that you like them as well. They don't feel they're in the dark. They don't feel confused about you at all. These two cards work very well together. All right, so next one I'm going to pull is what you want from the situation. Who or what you want from the situation? Like what type of relationship do you want or what do you want this person to do more of? Even though this seems like a pretty favorable situation, it's two wands together and you're positive. All right. What you want. Okay. Queen of Wands. Okay, the energy is matching up. Okay, this, this is really matching up. All right, the Queen of Wands inspiration. You want this relationship to be one of of being very dynamic. You you're probably you don't want it to be boring, but you also want this person to constantly keep the relationship alive. You don't want um, it to fall flat. A lot of times relationships can get into like a boring routine. Um, you want this person to continue to be what they say they're going to be. Okay, the Queen of Wands. She's inspirational. She gives direction. She gives. Um, she gives, um, you know, in, in, you know, ideas. She is a very inspirational person herself. She's vibrant. Okay, so you want this person to be um, vibrant. You want this person to continue the energy that they already have. Okay, and the general outcome for you. I get my major arcana cards. Okay, what is the general outcome for this particular reading? And I will try. I don't know. I'm trying to get this in under 10. Maybe I can do another one. Pull another um, set. All right. What is the general outcome for the two of you? Right now, your energy is matching up very well. Okay. The sun. All right. This is a positive indication. This is very positive. Y'all are headed in the right direction. The sun deals with things that are revealed. I don't see a lot of secrets in this situation. I see that people are forthright. I see that you're forthright. I see that this person is forthright. He, she, whatever, um, you know, whoever you're with. Um, I feel this is very positive energy going on with this particular set. Okay. All right. We're at nine minutes. I think I can do one more. I might just be very quick. Okay. So let's do, let's just use this deck just to make it easy. How do you feel? Oops. 
Eight of Wands, signals. This person's giving you signals. You're, you're, you know, you're seeing that they're not being elusive. They're being kind of direct. They might be taking you out, sending you messages, or doing things for you that make it very clear that they like you or want to connect in a relationship. And next we have the how does they how do they feel? Seven of Swords. Um they feel a sense of regret or sadness with something in regards to the situation. Maybe they did something recently that really turned you off um, or that you didn't like. Um, it may not even be something that's you, bothering you, but right now this person's feeling a sense of sadness, regret, um, worry, concern at this point. So, you, it, you know, mentally, they might be on a different wave than you right now. There's some type of um, situation going on regarding their mindset. And next, we're going to pull how what you want them to be. All right. Queen of Swords. Logical. You want them to um, communicate with you and you want them to be um, open with what's going on regards to the situation. So you might be at a point right now where it's like, you already, you know how sometimes you're clear that somebody feels something for you, but it's very clear what their, it's unclear what their intentions are. You know, sometimes you're like, I know this person cares about me, but what is their actual intentions, you know? And right now you need that person to be a little bit more forthright with how they and communicate. Okay. You might, they might be even love bombing you where you're at the point where you're like, okay, I know you like me, but right now there's some things not matching up. I need you to give me the truth. I need you to give me, you know, some clarity. You know, I need you to actually, you know, share what you're actually thinking, not feeling. Source doesn't have to do with your feelings. Um, and she also has to do with independence. So it could be that you actually might. You know, as much as this person might be doing a lot for you, you want some independence. So you want them to be more independent. Maybe they're a very dependent person, codependent person. All right. And the last card I'm going to pull is your outcome and the wheel of fortune, fate. Things are going to happen the way that they're supposed to happen. Um, there might be some ups and downs in your particular situation because there is some energy there where somebody's reevaluating themselves. Someone's not being very clear and direct. And they're, you know, even though this person might be doing some things, they haven't changed their routine too much. There is some energy there.